What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plant. Today we're going to try growing some mystery palm and cycad seeds. Let's check it out. What you're looking at here is a hodgepodge of different cycads and palm berries and seeds. I managed to collect these on a trip down to Florida at my cousin's place and I've got a pretty good variety. I'm not exactly sure what's what though because they were just kind of everywhere. Some are a little more degraded, some are like really fresh. So we're going to have to peel these up and prepare them. When preparing these berries and seeds, you're definitely going to want to wear some gloves. I did notice that the juices and stuff that this put off was pretty irritable to my skin, and I could almost feel it in the air if that makes any sense. So definitely do this in like a well-ventilated area. I'm not sure if these can cause any real issues, but again, I don't know what species these are or have really much experience with them at all, so it's always best to take precautions. I would also suggest wearing some safety glasses because this can kind of like squirt a little bit and it could get in your eyes. I ended up using a variety of tools to get the berries off and some of the husks off of this stuff and needle nose worked pretty well. I decided I'm not going to try and crack these open because I'm sure in nature they don't really have anything that cracks them open. Maybe there is some animal involved in this cycle that I'm unaware of, but for now I'm just going to leave them like so and hopefully they can sprout out on their own. I can already tell that some people are going to be jumping in the comments to tell me how in their country they can just throw these on the ground and they just sprout and grow. But for most people who live in the northern hemisphere, it's just way too cold and it doesn't work that way. So we have to try and grow these indoors. So that's why it's important to get rid of that pulp. Because any pulp that's left on is a good chance that it's going to mold and rot. And this could jeopardize your germination. Once you've got everything peeled, cleaned, and sort of dehusked the best you can do. And again, it's going to change based on which ones you're doing. It's kind of up to you in your opinion, really. Especially if you have a bunch of like... Um, unidentified seeds but anyways they should look like this pretty clean um, I don't know which are palm or which are cycad seeds but we should know once they start sprouting something I did read about these is you can stratify them and that kind of gets the germination going and you can do this with hydrogen peroxide so I'm going to soak these in hydrogen peroxide for about 24 hours just to sort of help the germination process and hopefully kill any extra bacteria or anything else that could cause rot all right, 24 hours has passed, so they have done their stratification. I am going to try something new this time. I do have this extra large vermiculite, so I'm going to get a clear bin that I can put something over to keep the humidity in, dump some of this extra large vermiculite in there, get it nice and wet, and then from there, I'm just going to neatly organize these seeds and kind of half bury them. I have grown cycads from seed once before, and I do know that they will sprout out like the belly button spot on these things. It'll be on one of the ends. A lot of these, I can't quite identify where that is, but half burying them should be enough. And then the little caudex thing will form, and then from there, it'll sprout. So I think as long as everything is half buried, you should be pretty good to go with most of these species. And again, we're going to keep this vermiculite nice and wet. All right, a little over a month and a half has passed since we first put these in the grow room. They have been on a shelf with grow lights underneath, so they've been pretty warm. I've kept them nice and moist, and I've kept the humidity high with that plastic covering. Looking up close, you can really see that there is some action starting, at least with two of the different species. You can see they're starting to actually germinate, and there's a little root caudex thing starting to form at the very ends of these, and they're going to start to slowly dig down into that substrate. So this is a really good sign. I wasn't sure if this would even work at all, so I'm really happy to see that at least two so far have sprouted. All right, about another month and a half has passed since we put them back in the grow shelf, and you can already see from the outside view that there is some growth in there. We actually have our first sprout with some tiny little leaves starting. I'm really excited about that because we are actually seeing some good progress. A lot of times I've tried experiments in the past where things germinate and that's about it. But we have some progress. Looking at the other one that was also germinating about a month and a half ago, you can see that it's got quite a caudex building or root system building and going quite deep into the vermiculite. So it seems to be happy and seems to be working. And there is some little cone growth development that should be our palm in the future. So I'm really excited about this. All right, about four months has passed, and you can really see tremendous growth. We have big green leaves. I want to say these might be cycads here, not 100% sure. And then looking at what I believe are the palms, we have quite a structure building. It's really awesome to see all this growth because, again, I wasn't sure if this would even sprout. But sure enough, they are doing well. It's nice to see some actual green leaves here. And then the palms, I don't know how close they are, but they've done a tremendous amount of progress. They have a quite a root structure and an awesome cone forming all right we are at the six month mark and we have had incredible progress i'm pretty sure we're looking at at least one palm species and maybe two cycad species but you can see there's tons of green growth 
everything has made it to that first stage of the initial sprouting and creating leaves. I'm not sure how much luck we'll have going on beyond this because a lot of times I've had seeds at least get this far and then again I can lose them after this. Hopefully we don't and there will be updates in the future but this is really awesome. The palms are looking really cool. The cycads as well. I think we have almost like seven or eight completely sprouted things and it's really cool that we have three total species here that are like sprouted and ready to go. I'm not sure if the other ones are going to sprout. There are a lot of things that are doing really nothing in here. Maybe they just take a lot longer. I'm not really sure. I'm going to leave them in there until they start to cause issues. But yeah, this is really awesome. We actually have some really cool green growth and I'm extremely excited about it. This is a success so far. And again, keep watching for updates because I will do some more additional updates and hopefully we'll get some mini cycads and some mini palm trees. So far, I want to say that the vermiculite is successful. I do want to try this again with some sand. Maybe next time I go to Florida, I'll get some more seeds. But the vermiculite seems to work. Just keep it nice and moist and everything rooted in there quite nice. So um, no rot yet. So I think it's doing well. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I thought it was pretty cool to test out some different stuff and try and grow some mystery palms and cycads. I'm really happy with how it's gone so far. And I'm definitely going to have updates as these things get bigger if they get bigger but for now I think it was a really cool successful experiment and it was a lot of fun to try and grow stuff that I've never really grown before. Hope you guys enjoyed that and as always may your plants go strong and healthy. I'll see you next time.